In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can get a substring in Java. Now, thanks to Java's built-in libraries, this is a very, very easy process just by using the string variable type. So all you have to do is you have to have your string. So I've declared a string here called original string, and it is VL technology. And what you do is you now take your string dot substring. And there's two ways to use substring here. What you can do is you can set your beginning index, which will make it start at that certain character. So obviously it treats it as an array, so we start at zero. So let's just say I want the word technology like I have here. What you'll do is you'll say zero, one, two, and I want to start on the third character or the character in index three. That's where I want to start. That's the substring I want. So what it does is it automatically cuts off this stuff and only returns back what you've asked for. Uh, another way to use it is, let's just say you only want a certain selection in the middle potentially, or a certain selection from the beginning if you want to be specific, that sort of thing. What you'll do is you start, you specify your beginning index. In this case, I've chosen index zero because I want VL tech. And then I've all gone all the way to index seven so I can have VL tech. So that's your beginning and your end index. So what you'll, when, when you're doing this, you want to count it out like you're counting an array. So you'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beginning and your end. And you could also even grab something out of the middle if you wanted to or anything like that. But that's what we've got. We got technology, VL tech, and this is honestly the easiest way to get a substring in Java. You could code your own custom method if for whatever reason you're using something old enough that doesn't have substring, or for whatever reason you can't use it for your use case. But in most cases, this is going to be your easiest, most efficient method, at least for coding wise. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this.